The new head of the British Army says forces must be ready to fight a war in three years. In his first speech in the role, he says the UK is facing danger from an axis of upheaval of Russia, Iran, China and North Korea. Win or lose in Ukraine, Britain's army chief believes Russia will seek revenge against countries like the UK that supported Kyiv. It's why General Sir Rowley Walker has given his soldiers three years to be ready for war. You're going to have a CDS a weaker Russia, but still a very, very dangerous yep. Russia. And everything in our history tells you that when you think they're down and out, they come flying back. So why would, why would this century be any different? Russia is a member of what he described as an axis of upheaval that could pose a challenge if the UK doesn't rebuild credible fighting forces to deter the threat. What is the danger posed by this convergence of threats, China, Russia, Iran and North Korea, by 2027 if the British army isn't ready to fight and win? The problem with the convergence is, is not that it inevitably triggers a war. Um, it's that when there is a crisis in one part of the world, it's very, very hard to manage it in isolation, which of course has been our approach. The warning at an army conference came as the government conducts a landmark defence review that will require more investment or major cuts. The UK's top military officer spelt out the challenge. We're addressing historic underinvestment. And beneath the headline capabilities, there are deficiencies in people, equipment, stockpiles, training, and technology. We need the humility to recognize that we're not as strong as we could be, and then the determination and focus to put this right. For the army, they've been tasked with becoming three times more deadly by the end of the decade. Not by trebling in size, but by drawing on lessons from Ukraine and learning to fight differently. Deborah Haynes, Sky News.